All right, today's item is a tool review, and it's an item that's been on my wish list for a while. Not an item I necessarily needed, I just needed a reason to buy it. And it was recently my birthday, and hey, my wife didn't know it, but she bought me this set of Vessel Mega Dora screwdrivers. So as far as I know, I am the only one on YouTube to do a review on this style vessel screwdriver. There's a lot out there um, that are the teal ones, very similar to this. It's got the same size screwdrivers in it, but what makes these different and special, and the reason I really wanted them, is they have that bolster on it. And some of my favorite screwdrivers that I use, the Snap-on SK, have that bolster on it, and I really like that. Um, the other thing this has that none of the other screwdrivers have, have um, that compete with this is that steel cap on the end so here's what comes in it but let's open it up and take a closer look and there they are what a nice case that these come in uh, look at that it's got like this hard plastic and then it sits in the foam um, that'll look great in the toolbox and keep them nice um, the other thing that's important to understand about these screwdrivers is that these are the JIS and these are Japanese industrial standard and you know what's great about these is they'll work in JIS screws but they will also work in regular Phillips screws. So obviously I haven't used these that much yet since I just opened them up but I plan on just kind of giving you a comparison to some of my favorite screwdrivers that I currently use and compare the tips and compare um, some of the way they fit as well as feel. So what I'm going to first show you on these screwdrivers is the tip and take a look at that. That's that Jaws fit and they are super sharp and they really grab into the screw and look at this, um, I don't know how to pronounce it, but Tata Tara story here. It's a traditional iron making process that has been handed down from over a thousand years in Japan and that the steel is burned into red hot and then hammered and drawn out to produce these screwdrivers. And um, you could see that in the quality of these. And let's take a look at these tips here. So for me, obviously the Phillips number two is the most important screwdriver in this set. That, and that's the screwdriver that you really want to have a nice fit on. And let's see if we could get this to focus here. Look at those tips, huh? Is that something? That is what makes this a really special screwdriver. My favorite screwdriver that I currently own that's a number two is this Snap-on. And I've had this for probably eight years, maybe more. And I wanted to buy a complete set of these and they're 160 to $180. And like I said, I got millions of screwdrivers, don't need more screwdrivers, but um, you know, hey, I came across these and I thought it would be a really nice set. And as you can see here, very similar to the vessel. It has some sort of notches in the teeth. So I thought that, um, you know, I always liked that about these. I really like the handle on the snap-on. To me, that's so important. I don't like a thin handle. Um, and then just look at how it fits into a screw head. This is just a regular number two. A little bit of play there. Um, but look at this, you know, like I'm just leaning on it here a little bit like that and eventually it'll come out. Now, yeah, I guess all screwdrivers will kind of do that, but look what this does. Um, now this is a magnetic tip, which is slightly different, but look at this. I mean, look how much I mean, it takes a lot more to get it to, to budge, and there is very little wiggle on that. And maybe it's just because it's new, uh, but comparing the Snap-on to the Vessel, it is definitely, um, you will not notice a difference if the Vessel, it honestly, isn't better from what I could tell. Probably not the greatest comparison to tell which one's better or not. So I just wanted to kind of get a feel for it for myself. And that was kind of the point of that. The other thing that's so important with a screwdriver for me is how it fits in the hand. And I hate little screwdriver handles. Um, I bought this PB Swiss a while back that people, you know, said was so, you know, such a great screwdriver and just a regular tip on it. No grooves or anything. It fits nice and it's got a decent handle. I'm not a huge fan of barcodes, as you know, on my tools. 
um, but you know it's small it's just not a great feeling screwdriver in my hand obviously no bolster and this is an expensive screwdriver I think I paid I don't know $18 uh, for that snap-on has a great handle SK has a really nice handle as well, kind of nice and fat. Um, these are great screwdrivers as well, but obviously the tip is what's differentiating these so much. Um, you know, this has a nice handle on it, this SK, but I don't like the fit on this tip. Um, this is an old Western Forge um, SK flathead, and I love it. This thing is almost oversized, and it fits wonderful in the hand with the bolster. Uh, so that's why the vessel to me just... You know, I was really curious about the size of the handle in comparison to the snap-on. So measuring it, it's about 33 millimeters um, at the fattest part, at the widest part. And then here you're looking at almost the same, 32. So just slightly smaller on this number two vessel. So that probably explains why I really like the feel on that. I do like the snap-on a little bit better as far as it's kind of got this tri-lobe type thing on it. I know my um, Tectons have that. And if you haven't seen my review on these Tectin screwdrivers, go ahead. Um, but I like that tri-lobe. I really like the way that feels versus um, just a round like octagon type one. But that being said, good size, nice tacky, finish to it um, as well. All right, let's compare a little bit more of the finish on this. So this has a nice finish, but it's not completely polished as you can see there. It's almost got like an industrial satin type finish, which is nice where um, obviously Snap-on has a beautiful chromed finish, um, but nothing there um, to split hairs with. Uh, but look at the end cap on that. Is that nice or what? And um, that was something that obviously none of the other um, Phillips screwdrivers had, which that definitely seemed like an advantage to me. You could put this into a bolt. I went not well on this because, um, but just maybe a little gentle tap um, as you're turning it with a bolster uh, always helps uh, free up those stuck ones. And what I've used for those in the past is kind of these cheap Doyle ones. And they're actually not bad. They're made in Taiwan from Harbor Freight. And uh, these things have taken a beating so far. I've whaled on these and they're lifetime warranty. So if you're looking for a cheap pair um, of striking cap screwdrivers made in Taiwan, these are decent. They got the, they're got they not a bolster, but they have a hexagon shaft. So you could throw, I believe it's an eight millimeter on there and turn them as well. Really talking about a lot of screwdrivers here today. And then finally, uh, before I get back to that, is he, these are the Vessel and these are called the Impacta screwdrivers. And these are great if you really do need to hit on something as well. Uh, these are the rebranded ones Craftsman has made. And you can see I've given these a couple of good shots over the years. And the way these work is when you hit it with a hammer and you turn it, it'll actually um, turn like a, um, a slight turn. And it's an impact screwdriver. You'll see there's a lot of reviews on the Vessel Impact the screwdrivers on YouTube and they're very highly rated. All right, so back to these and I was so excited to get these and I start playing with them and pulling them out and there was one big drawback to me. And obviously the number two is my favorite screwdriver, but look how long it is. This is the smallest number two in here. Um, obviously there's a, a mini in here, which I'll compare to you, uh, compare for you in a little bit, but look how long this is compared to my other number two screwdrivers and to me that's just ridiculous um, that's just too big you're talking it's almost two inches longer and i like something where i can you know especially when it's tight compact to get into this is the perfect size for me and just to show you the difference the tip on the um, snap-on is four inches the tip on this is six inches and that's just a little bit too long and I was kind of really bummed about that I said you know the, that's gonna be the screwdriver I would use the most and it doesn't have it in this set so I went online to see if I could find the right size number two and I was able to find this beauty um, it was about $17 I want to say it's the exact number two that I would want um, for this set. Now, look at it compared to the Snap-on, almost identical. It's got the great size grip on it as well. And um, 
was happy to find it, but it doesn't fit in here. So I'll have to figure out if I want to take out one of the other screwdrivers that has this same size handle um, to keep it in there or maybe figure out another way to use that with this. But we'll take a look at that at the end. So let's talk more about the handle sizes in this set. And that's one of the things um, I liked about the number two um, standard size that I mentioned but all the handles in here have a different size. So here is the largest of, this is a number three, and the number three handle has the same exact size as the largest flat um, handle. So let's take a look at that. And as you remember, the number two measured about 32 millimeters. This measures about 33. And then let's look at this smaller handle here which would be equivalent to the number two or the smaller flathead screwdriver. And this measures 27. So not a huge fan that they just didn't pick the, this nice size, which is equivalent to the Snap-on for all the handles. And Snap-on does that where all of their screwdrivers in their set, at least that's my understanding. I don't own the, own the complete set, but just from looking at it, it looks like they all have the same size. And what does it matter? You know, like you should have the same size in my opinion, because um, you're not, you know, your hand can only get in there and you want to get a good grip. So I don't like that they graduated up the size. I would have prefer preferred just the one larger size for all of them. But that being said, not a deal breaker. Definitely a good size um, on the most commonly used one and the larger one. Slightly smaller than I would have liked on the smaller um, flathead as well as the smaller Phillips. All right, moving on from that number two screwdriver, which to me is the most important, like I mentioned a million times, is the stubby. And this SK stubby is currently my smallest stubby. And I really like the vessel. It's because it's got a, a nice round handle on it where it's definitely a little wider, but look how nice and compact it is. Nice tip on that. And let's just compare it to which I'm sure most people have is the most common craftsman um, screwdriver as well. Now, the blade on this is big. So, you know, time and place, this might be a better option. Um, and then looking at the number two stubby, I mean, is that nice or what? It's got the CrossFit draws on it. And this is, like I said, very similar to the one I showed um, earlier, which is that teal one. And these don't have the striking caps on it. Everything else does have the striking caps on it. All the other screwdrivers do seem to be of a good size. Six inch blade on the larger ones and about a three uh, inch blade on the smaller ones and then just a one inch um, on the stubbies. So um, that is the complete set. But now I, ha you know, I really wish it had this in it. That is the only drawback. So I got to figure out if it'll fit in my draw if I just lay this on there. I don't know. I thought about maybe figuring out a way if I could cut the foam and get this to lay in there. Or I might just decide, hey, you know what? I'm really not going to use this flathead that much. And this is the same size. And I could just have this lay in there. And then I could throw this on the side in the draw. And that's probably what I'll do. And the reason I bought these is for that Phillips tip. And hey, these are great in regular Phillips as well as JIS. If you're not familiar with JIS screws, um, check out. There's plenty of videos on that. But many Japanese products now use that Japanese industrial standard. Um, the other thing that really stood out to me on this before I wrap this up is just the weight end of this um, compared to my other screwdrivers. So let me show you what that looks like. So when you hold these in your hand, you just notice there is a serious weight to it and a density to it. I'm sure it's the steel that runs all the way through with the cap and just the quality of this um, synthetic material here has just got a really heavy weight to it. So I thought it'd be interesting to weigh it uh, to a comparable comparable screwdriver and it comes in at 5.7 ounces. Um, let's compare that to the Snap-on and that's four. Uh, so an ounce and a half or so um, heavier, which you could just, it's noticeable in the hand. And those are basically the same length, uh, just for the heck of it. Let's look at a Tecton, um, same size, 4.1. That seems to be a pretty common weight. Let's see this. This is a pretty beefy 4.5 on the SK. Uh, and you notice the weight on this vessel. It's, it's noticeably different at that 5.7 ounces.
I would definitely recommend these if you're in the market for some screwdrivers or just want some really quality screwdrivers. Um, you know, the price point on them, I paid $87 for this from National Tool Warehouse. I prefer to buy stuff um, from a tool company directly when I can rather than give the money to Amazon. I think there were a couple of dollars more at Amazon as well. And Snap-on goes from $160 to $180. And you might be able to get them a little cheaper off your truck. Um, but I will say this, you know, this will only work in a number two. This will work in a Phillips, or I should say a Phillips. This will work in a Phillips as well as a JIS. The other thing I like about this is the striking cap, although I won't be hitting on it too much with a hammer. I do like to use the back end of my screwdriver a lot as a hammer when working on stuff to knock stuff and move stuff, and that'll only help the longevity. So those are definitely a lot of the pros of the vessel versus the snap-on. The cons are, I don't really know what their warranty is. I found some stuff online that says maybe there's a three-year warranty, um, but I don't know where snap-on, hey, you buy it once, you cry once, you they'll warranty it forever when you buy it from them. Um, either directly or off the truck. So that's one of the advantages. Um, the other advantage is you get the great size added a gate on this, um, but with this you have to go back and buy this additional size, which I don't understand why they don't put this in this set. Um, Vessel, if you ever see this video, come on, man, make a set that has this in it or, uh, you know, have, um, more, um, you know, more slots in here. Uh, but hey, when you buy this extra one, now you have more versatility because now you got a longer one and um, the, the, the more common size. So those are some of the um, pros and cons of it, but definitely great quality. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe, and obviously I'll keep you updated on these as these are gonna be my primary screwdriver for the near future. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this review.